What's going on YouTube? My name is Ian Shroud. I'm the best-selling author of The American Way as well as the author of many other books and today we're going to be doing a reaction video. Now this video popped up on my YouTube feed for some odd reason. As many of you know, I'm anti-MLM, which stands for multi-level marketing, keep that in mind. But there is someone out there reacting to anti-MLM content as a pro MLMer. I haven't watched the video yet, so you're going to get my raw reaction to it. But I got a feeling that a lot of stuff is going to go down. It was brought to my attention that somebody, um, another fellow YouTuber, made a YouTube video reacting to YouTubers who joined MLM. I would never waste my time or invest any money into something that did not work. I would not. There are plenty of people. If you don't waste your time in something that doesn't work, why do 99.6% of people lose money in multi-level marketing? And that's a statistic from the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission. You know, the people that monitor you guys. I'll continue talking about it if it didn't actually work. I just do not have time for that. I. At one point, I had like four physical jobs. So why on earth would I even spend time talking about something that I just I just don't? Get. Going back to my other point, if it if it does work, how come ninety nine point six percent of people fail? Yeah, let's just jump right into the video. I want to apologize for my parents, but you know we're okay. We're just gonna move along. I will. Shout out her account if you guys want to go see it. It's Emily Fine. Honestly, I find that disrespectful. I would honestly keep the person private like I'm doing with you. It's her YouTube. She is reacting to YouTubers who join MLMs. She's an anti-MLM, which means she does not believe in the system of multi-level marketing. That's totally fine. There are a lot of anti-MLMs. It, you know, it's fine. I get Before I, like, even come off rude a little bit in this YouTube video, I have nothing against this girl or anybody that has their opinion shared, posted. I literally, like, I don't, like, nothing against any of you guys. I, I just don't know what she's talking about right here, and I just want to skip to, like... So, like I said, I haven't seen this video yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. Go follow him. She said in the video, don't follow her, but yet she's trying to not to bat, trying not to bash her. I smell hypocrisy. Okay. I like your intro. So, like I said, I'm going to start with the 500 subscriber one and then work my way up to the higher amount of subscribers. Just a little preface, it looks like this girl, she's a part of Monet, looks a little younger, so um, take mm -hmm. it for what you will. If you're in an anti-MLM video, she's pointing out what you're doing wrong. Why are you excited? Okay, first of all, Emily, this video was two months ago, so yes, I did have 500 subscribers. I've been getting like 100 new subscribers every month, so now I'm almost to 800. I'm at like 750. But yeah, I'm the 500 subscriber YouTuber that she's about to talk about. I'm very embarrassed because I film these videos, edit them, and then just post them and never look back. So, I don't know how... <laughs> I just don't know how I feel about this. Okay, I'm nervous. Guys, I... <laughs> I'm back with another video. It's been a while. It's been a while since Dude, I've... okay. First of all, I just want to say I talk a lot because I'm talking to you guys. I don't think about the fact that people are going to like watch this and like react to it. If you have an anti-MLM opinion, if you have a pro-MLM opinion, you should expect that stuff, especially if you're posting online. I'm sorry, maybe I should start jumping to the point like faster, but sorry. Sorry. Eek. Face. Just since you see my face, I can't see yours, but I'm sure it's looking a little something like Oh my god, her face! Right now, really update I'm the nervous. About where I'm so humble. I mean no harm. My or maybe you're not you guys you know, I took long, hard notes on this video. Like, I wanted to put in work for this video so that it would help people. And so far it has. It has helped a lot of people. Never mind. 
and not like for my help or anything like that like it's helped other people and other people's teams and i love that you know yeah because they're listening to the lies so, so what she's really saying is in monet you have to spend money uh, spend a lot of money actually to make any money if you make any at all okay first 200 minimum if that's a lot of money to you then maybe you should think about getting a side hustle there are legitimate side hustles out there that don't involve recruiting people into a shady business model live ops for example there's text broker there's working solutions there is arise virtual solutions there's a bunch of them out there that you could do heck upwork even is one that has a wide variety of stuff you don't have to recruit people into a shady business model and you don't have to make, take advantage of vulnerable people I'm getting extra money flow into your wallet all right i like how she puts that when she hasn't even roasted anybody It's something. Just because it's something doesn't mean doesn't mean that it's much. Hundred and sixteen dollars plus on shampoo and conditioner at a time. Who? Or even two hundred and fifty dollars. Dude, one hundred and sixteen dollars can get you a, like shampoo, conditioner, and a styling product that will last you like six months. The fact that it lasts you six months is nothing new. Yes, money products are concentrated, but so is Amway shampoo. So is Arbonne's makeup. It's nothing new. The point I'm getting at is, why would you want to buy Monate shampoo by saying that it'll last you six months when Amway's products does the same, Arbonne's products does the same? I mean, it's like a universal thing. But then again, you're referencing products that make people's hair fall out. There are class action lawsuits, which keep in mind, Monate has not won every single lawsuit like you guys say. But anyway, there are class action lawsuits out there for people's hair falling out. Heck, the Florida, the Florida, what the? The Florida Attorney General has settled a lawsuit with you guys, and now you guys can't say certain things like it makes your hair grow. I know this video was in like October or September of 2020, before the Florida Florida Attorney General lawsuit happened, but it's still relevant. But going back to those products that you can buy with $116. You can buy you can buy salon quality products for way less and still have some extra money left over for like food or something and not support a pyramid scheme. I also worked at Ulta at the time and I've seen people spend way more than that like multiple times a month. I'm just saying, I know numbers and it's worth it. If you know numbers, then why don't you keep a track of what you spend? in your quote-unquote business versus what you earn in your quote-unquote business. If you do that, you will most likely convert to anti-MLM. Actually spending that much on shampoo and conditioner or hair products in general. Who is People who want healthy hair. You cannot say that when there are literal class action lawsuits against your company that you sell for claiming that not only hair has fallen out that there are sores on their head that makes their head itch heck that all happened to me when i used monet all of my customers don't you mean your downline because to make a long story short your downline are your customers keep in mind there might be a few maybe like 0.01% of people that actually buy Monate and enjoy it. But a majority of the sales come from the distributors. And that's a fact. We've seen this statistic multiple times. And before, <laughs> that was a, the one-time fee is just $20. Yeah, to be able to just get a discount on already overmarked, overpriced products, to pay a $20 fee or whatever it is, is absolutely ridiculous. You shouldn't even have to be spending that to get any sort of discount at all. It's to your first purchase that is there's no Why not? Money. Okay, but like why not? Because like spending 20 on top of 
your first purchase in which your first purchase you're getting 15% off the retail price anyways so I did some quick math you're saving $17.40 off of a $116 purchase because I'm using that $116 from the last scenario but you're spending $20 to get that $17.40 discount. That's how they get you. And free shipping. All of that, if you total up all of that, that is less than what you would spend retail. That is false. The cheapest Monate product I saw on their website was around $30. Salon products, I've seen them for around retail $20. So that is false. Plus shipping. No free shipping. No free product. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. I mean, she knows she's wrong, so that's why she's giving up. Do not keep products on hand. AKA risk-free. Ha, ha, ha. They're just gonna sit there like- What was that? Explain, elaborate yourself. Like I'll go ahead and elaborate for her. It's not risk-free when 99.6% of people lose money in Monate. You are essentially scamming your downline because they're doing all the hard work and you're reaping the benefits and not doing any work. Saying that it's risk-free because there's no products, you have to purchase a starter kit in order to join Monate. It, okay, what I mean was like it was risk-free because you don't have to say, like all of the products that I have, like these are my products. Like I'm, I, don't, products. I didn't just buy those and like I'm hoping for somebody to buy them. Like Black Panther, Whatever the requirement may be, and I can vouch for this because I'm in the service industry. I know what that's all about. She's in the yes. service industry. I need to DM her. I know doing good and well. She needs an extra income. Is she assuming that everybody in the service industry needs an additional income? The only thing is, is that the people that are like serving like at a fast food restaurant, they're guaranteed a paycheck. In Monet, you're not. So you can wear the clothes. You can't wear your one-time fee to Monet, Arbonne. You have nothing huh? to show for that. And I mean, again, that's just like, you can wear it. But anyway, it's just, I don't understand that argument at all because I don't understand what these you said. places- There is value in stuff that you have to purchase for your actual job. Like for example, if, you per if you're required to purchase slip resistant shoes, there's value in that. With a Monet starter kit, there's literally no value in that. Yeah, you could resell the, the low quality products for around 10 or $15 a piece. $15 a piece for like four or five products, that doesn't add up to the $99 that you have to spend for a starter kit. And that's the least that you have to spend for a starter kit. Are paying you, you are guaranteed to pay. After I signed up for Arbon, I didn't make that money That's back Arbon. that's not her name. Just because it's Arbon doesn't mean that they have the same business structure. That was just a total loss for me. And you know, when I worked at a restaurant, you know, I made that money back in a couple hours. So again, it's just, I don't really understand that argument. Well, you have okay, to I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, first of all. I've never served, so I don't know. I don't have an opinion on that. And like Arbon, it's not Monet. Like if you invested into Arbon or whatever the heck you invested in, and you didn't make that money back, is that because you didn't work? Or is that because the money just never showed up? Oh, I hate this argument. The system is set up for you to fail. 99.6% of people lose money in multi-level marketing because the system is set up for you to fail. Every purchase, every sale, every purchase your downline makes, that all goes up the pyramid. The system is set up so that the person at the bottom gets the least amount of money and the person at the top gets all the money that the people at the bottom are supposed to get. It's real. And as long as you're doing your job, you're going to see money. If you peddle Monate to people, that doesn't guarantee you a paycheck because what if no one buys from you? And what if no one wants to be under you anymore? If you lose your downline, then you're basically SOL. You won't have any money. That's all, that's all I got to say about that. Next. <laughs> Way and things like that. So 
anywhere you go, you have to spin a little before you make any. So, that's that. The product packs vary. She's so I mad that I keep saying you have to spin a little to make any. You're right. You don't have to spend a little to make to make any. You have to spend a lot to make nothing. I mean, unless you're, like, it's inherited. Like, you know, you're just, like, chilling and, like, your dad's just, like, here's some money. Like... I can guarantee you people that have a lot of money, like, that inherited it or they own their own actual business... They're not going to be tied up in an MLM. I'm literally not saying sign up, invest money, and money is just going to flow into you. You're not saying that directly. You're saying that indirectly. Your wallet. I never once said that. And if anybody says that, they're saying it wrong. And it's just, they're making it out to be something that it's not. I'm being super real and telling you that if you sign up, if you join the business, if you start your business and invest your money into the products and the business and the training and all that... You're going to have to back it up with some work to see some money. But I know with Monet, as long as you are working, showing up, doing your part, you will see money flow in. Just because you work your butt off in a company like Monet does not mean that you'll see a paycheck. If you work your butt off or if you show up for work, if you show up for work at, like, McDonald's or something, you're guaranteed that pay. You never know. Well, that's really fun. I love that for us. I love that I got featured in this girl's video. But it seems to me that she joined Arbon and it broke her heart. That's not how it usually goes. People make these videos because they're warning people about the dangers of this industry. Heck, I want to get into the anti-MLM community on YouTube I want to warn people about this industry. That's what they're doing. She's not heartbroken because she lost her quote-unquote business. She's making this video to warn other people about a dangerous industry. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end my first anti-MLM video here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this. Multi-level marketing is not what it's cut out to be. Go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and subscribe down below. Turn on the bell notifications, whatever tickles your fancy. And yeah, I'll see you in another video.